Hello, I'm the Vampire Julie, and I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon. I'm going to say a letter to my fifth grade self. She's so cute, I just want to pinch her cheeks even though she has a unibrow. She'll grow up into a pretty girl. <laughs> no, I like her though, she's really cute. Dear younger me, Hi there, you look cute as ever. Nice necklace, by the way. Who am I? I'm you, six years in the future. Oh. Anyway, I got some good news and some bad news for you. The bad news is, your life is really f***ed up right now. And at some point, if they haven't already, everybody in your school and the school you go to next year is going to betray you in some way or another. And, um, you're not gonna have a lot of friends. But that's okay, you wanna know why? Because you know, I know you know, that you are more mature than they are. And that's actually kind of amazing because you're 10 years old. And 10 year old girls are just a little bit wacky. I mean, you're wacky too, but like, like you're really, really mature for a 10 year old. And I can tell you from the future that none of the other 10 year old girls have really grown up in any way. Anyway, um, it's all gonna turn out okay, even though at some, some points, at some point there's, it's not really gonna seem like it's okay. It's gonna suck really bad. But I promise you, because I'm alive today, you're gonna turn out okay. And somebody besides your mom and dad are gonna look you in the eye and tell you that they love you. You're actually really lovable, believe it or not, and just don't forget that in the hard times because that might really, really help you and make it a hell of a lot easier on you and me. So, as you wait for you to turn into this thing, um, just remember a couple things. One, it's okay to hate Disney Channel because everyone's gonna admit in the future that it turned into crap. And that's because it did! <laughs> To stay alive, you're gonna see Elton John twice more in the next six years. It's gonna rock. Three, your gay thoughts, totally natural. When you're 11, you're gonna come out as bisexual. Don't be afraid because it gets okay. It gets better and your life is not gonna suck forever. It's gonna suck a little bit for the next two years, but it's gonna turn out okay. I think you really need to know that because you're not doing too well at the moment. More bad news. The bad stuff that's happening to you, it's not over yet and it won't be over for a little while. I can't look you in the eye and tell you that it's over now, but I can look you in the eye and tell you it's a hell of a lot better and it gets better and it's gonna be okay because you're alive and you should be thanking Jareth for that. And the bad things that are happening to you right now, they're gonna go unpunished. And you're absolutely right to cry about that before you go to bed. But just know that you're gonna be a stronger person than any of the people who did bad things to you will ever be. You have reason to believe that they're mean to you because they're jealous of you. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> Remember, little Julie, that it is okay to cry. It is okay to scream for all of the terrible things that are happening, but if I were you, I'd kind of tone it down just a little bit because you're actually scaring the shit out of everybody. Remember that people love you. Mom loves you, Dad loves you, your sister loves you. I love you. I'm really proud of you for everything that you've done and everything that you're gonna do. And just remember through all the terrible times that are going to happen and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it because you don't deserve it one bit that it's gonna turn out okay sometimes i'm really ashamed of fifth grade julie because there were some things that she did that were kind of stupid but then i have to remember that she had every right she wasn't in a good situation and it's over now it's gonna be okay but it's gonna be really hard and I would do anything to turn back time and just erase it. She's a strong person as it is. I, I, these experiences, I don't think they're gonna change her for the better. She's gonna freak out whenever someone says that was unexpected. She's gonna freak out whenever someone makes jokes about corporal punishment. And 
it's not going to be easy for her and it's not going to be easy on the adults in her life in the future, but they still love her and they're very proud of her and, um, I love her. I love her so much. I'm so proud of her. I'm going to wrap this up. I don't really want to cry on YouTube. Thanks for watching.